Hello to all good people of the world. This is Paul Whittakin returning to you today with the Universal Law of Numbers. Now, what we're going to look at here are these three circles, which are all identical. And inside of each of these circles is an identical equilateral triangle. And if we were to take this equilateral triangle and turn it one notch in this direction, we would end up with this one. And if we were to take this one here and turn it one notch in the clockwise direction, we would end up with this one. And if we were to turn this one in the clockwise direction, we, were in, we would end up with this one again, and on and on to infinity. Now I will, well, this is what we're going to be talking about today. So it may not always appear like that, but that's what we're talking about. And that's what this represents. But these circles, they're going in many directions and all at the same time. What this represents is the 369 code. The 369 code is simply the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The 369 code is simply the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. <laughs> now, uh, this not only describes art and literature and music, but also science and uh, chemistry, physics, biology, and mathematics, because that's where all of this comes from. The numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, it's fair to say that we did not learn mathematics correctly. Numbers. Uh, deliberately or not deliberately, uh, there are certain aspects of the number system that uh, were either totally neglected, ignored deliberately uh, for whatever reason. Uh, and by the way, colors are numbers because colors can be, uh, you know, shown on a, a infrared, well, on a, the color spectrum. And you can number them. And letters are the same thing. They're numbers, and you can put the numbers together and achieve ideas, which is exactly what numbers do. Now, the reason we didn't learn the number system correctly is because of this. This is what it does. It goes on to infinity in this fashion. They showed us the number line, I know, but it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 2 and 2 is 4. 23, 2 and 3 is 5, etc., etc. It does that. It does the same thing going in the opposite direction on the number line by putting a minus in front of it. Now, if you put when you put the 0 here, then 1, 4, 7 will turn into 2, 5, 8. Okay? And, 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 but it will be the same thing. The numbers will always be the same. If I put a uh, radical sign here and a two up there next to it, uh, we would go in that direction. It would be the equivalent thing. It's identical. The numbers don't change. Uh, if I put these numbers underneath, uh, you know, in denominator and numerator, one over four, four over one, either way, it's not going to change the numbers. They'll always remain the same. And our number system follows uh, the harmonic series, which is what these numbers are. They're harmonic frequencies that are pleasant to our ears. 285, 396, 417, 528, 639, 741. Those are the solfeggio numbers. And that's where they come from. And if we notice... If we add these numbers going across, we're going to get 696969. Six, nine, six, nine. If we add these numbers going down, we're going to get 6699699699, which is 666666. Six, 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 six. 1 and 2 and 3 is 6. 4 and 5 and 6 is 15 is a 6. 7, 8 and 9 is 24 is a 6. So that's where the 666 six, six comes from. Excuse me for that. Now, what it's doing is it's the universe's own way of describing itself to us. And there could be nothing more logical than that because who among the great scholars and mathematicians of all times 
didn't use these numbers to describe the universe. Now, that may sound a little bit exaggerated to you in the beginning, uh, but if you are to explore it, what it is, is it's arithmetic. But arithmetic takes on new levels because you have to understand that these numbers have certain characteristics that we aren't typically made uh, familiar with. For instance, if you take any number, I'll go 77. Seven. <laughs> well, 77, if you add that up, it's 14 and 14, one and four is a five. Now that 77 is gonna behave like a five. If you add one to it, the number you'll get is 78, which would reduce to a six. If you take one off of it, five minus one is four, so 76 would have to be a four. Well, 78, would, 78 is a six and 74 is a four. Seven, no, 70, 78 is a six and 76 is a four because seven and six is 13. Excuse me, it's not uh, the universal law of numbers. That's Paul Whittakin. Now, Paul Whittakin's going to take you to another place when it comes to numbers. And uh, I'd be happy if you decide to come along and join me. Now, basically what happens is this arrangement of numbers, this sequence of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it takes on the... Uh, identity uh, of the 369 code. And it does it in many ways. And there are many, many different uh, variations of the 369 code. And we can just quickly go back one thing and just kind of do that for a second. Well, first of all, we'll find these codes, 147. One four seven seven four one. Now, if we remember those triangles, they didn't care which. Uh, they weren't talking about direction. It goes in in every direction. Uh, one seven four four seven one. One four seven seven four one. Seven one four seven one four four one seven four one seven. Okay, that's a little bit of one four seven, and one four seven is the three because one and four and seven is a three, and then two, five, and eight, which is the other one, two, five, eight, that is a six, because two and five is seven, and eight is 15 is a six. So two, five, and eight is gonna add up, uh, two, five, eight plus one, four, seven is going to give us the nine. And this thing, this entity represents the number nine, okay? 729, it's a nine. If we add all these numbers up, it's 297. That's a nine. It's just a nine manifesting itself uh, throughout nature. Now, let's. there are different ways to do it, but we'll, we'll go like this. We're going to go with the 258. Five, five, one and seven is eight, one and one is two. That's 258. Eight, eight, seven and four is 11 is two, four and one is five. Two, five, eight, right? Here's the other code, 248751. Now, 248751 is the 369 code because no matter how you mix it, it's always gonna go 369 or the 369 numbers. Four and eight is three, seven and five is three, one and two is three. That's the three in the 369 code. Eight and seven is six, five and one is six, two and four is six. That's the six. Uh, Five and four is nine, eight and one is nine, seven and two is nine. That's the nine. So as we can see, the two, four, eight, seven, five, one numbers, they will turn into three, six, nine. But what we will learn is three, six, nine will never turn into two, four, eight, seven, four, five, one numbers. Three, six, and nine will always be nine numbers, as you can see. Okay, now let's kind of delve into how to use it. And if you want to analyze that yourself and come up with your codes, uh, you can do it in an infinite number of ways. Here's the, the numbers we were talking about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what this is, is this is the number one, and we divide it into nine by going one squared, 11 squared, 121 squared, one, 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 one squared, five, one squared, six, one squared, seven, eight, nine, one squared. Well, nine ones squared, 111 million, 111,111 will come out to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we can see that. I could do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I could even go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So you can see the thing is perfectly symmetrical, and it is about the number nine. And if we were to add up these numbers, make a triangle, uh, you know, two triangles out of that one, we will see that this side adds up to a three if we reduce those numbers, and this side adds up to a three, and that's going to be a six. And here we already have the 285 code showing. So when I showed you that it's going to go six, uh, it's going to go six, nine, nine, no, actually, it's going to go 669, 669, 669. That's what it is going to do. We will also notice that these codes I talk about, they're the same things that are right here. They're the same codes, right? 285, 147, and 369. Okay, we'll spend a little bit of time on the number one because it's the blueprint for all numbers. Uh... When it comes to squaring numbers, we will notice uh, in this fashion that the 1 and the 8 are the same number, uh, the, two and the five, 2 and the 7 are the same number, and the 4 and the 5 are the same number. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to look at these things and realize that this is what's going to go on with all of the numbers. They're going to create a triangle, just like that. And 2 will also be a 6. It'll be 9 on one side if we add them up, and 6 on the other side. So that's 6, 6. But anyway, same thing goes uh, with 2. 2 squared is 4. 22 squared is 484. 2, 2, 2 squared is 49284. Uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 squared is 4937284. And we get it going this way, 2, 4938271. 59506172844938271 five, oh, oh, five, five, oh, and it's giving us a 6 because it's 9 and 6 is 15 and that's a 6 now we get to the number four. So we're going to skip the three, six, nine numbers because what we're going to learn is the three, six, nine numbers uh, differ. They have certain characteristics that the two, four, eight, seven, five, one numbers uh, don't have and vice versa. They follow a little bit of a different set of rules. Anyway, now we get to the number four. Now I have these asterisks here because in this universe, the thing is going to change. Uh, so it has to change. What it's doing is it's maintaining its 9 status. And if I, you want to look at that, we can look at it quickly here. 0 and 9 is 9, 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5. 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, 4 and 5. They're making 9s. We can see it here too. 4 and 5 is a 9, 8 and 1, 9, 2, 7, 9, 7, 2 is a 9, 1, 8 is a 9, or 9 and 0 is a 9, 5 and 4 is a 9, 0 and 9 is a 9, 6 and 3 is a 9, 1 and 8 is a 9. Okay, so it's going to carry on and it will always do that and all the numbers will always do that, but what they're, they have to do when it gets to the number 4 is... 4 squared is 16, 44 squared is 1936, 444 four squared is 197136. 
four 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 squared is one nine seven five two six nine one three six. Then it's going to go one nine seven five three zero oh, four six nine one three six. You can see it like right here. One nine seven five three zero oh, four six nine one three six or one nine seven five two six nine one three six. So this four changes to a five stays that way. That after it's so one nine seven four two six and then one nine seven five two six two six then one nine seven five three oh four six nine one six one nine seven five three oh four six nine one three six it'll be making the nines so here we're going to see what why it had to do that one and eight is nine nine and zero is nine seven and two is nine four and four is not nine five and four is a nine two and six is not nine three and six is nine so that's basically what it's doing there and if we add them up we'll get five and one which is a six so all the two, four, eight, seven, five, one numbers, or will all they'll all add up to a six when we add them all up. Okay, now when we get to the number five, we have to make an even another adjustment because two and six is not uh, nine. We know that three and six is nine. Uh, five and three is not nine. Uh, six and three is nine. 3 and 5 is not 9, 4 and 5 is 9. So this will change to a 6, this to a 3, this to a, a 6 will go to a 7. But it will be, the the first time around, it will be, because 5 squared is 25, it will be what it says. Then it's going to go 3, 0, 2, 5. See, the 2 turned into a 3. 3, 0, 2, 5. Then it's going to go 3, 0, 8, 0, 2, 5. 3, 0, 8, 0, 2, 5. Then it's going to go 3, 0, 8, Five, eight, zero, oh, two, five, three, zero, oh, eight, five, eight, zero, oh, two, five. Then it's going to go three, zero, oh, eight, six, three, five, eight, zero, oh, two, five, three, zero, oh, eight, six, three, five, eight, zero, oh, two, five. Then it's going to go three, zero, oh, eight, six, four, one, three, five, eight, zero, oh, two, five. 3, zero, oh, eight, six, four, one, three, five, eight, zero, oh, two, five. So it will do that. And then it will make its nines. And it will come out to be a six, as it needs to be. With the number seven, well, the number seven, it's the same as the number two. If you remember on the number two, it went zero, four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one, five. Here it's going four, nine, three, eight, two, seven, one, five. And what's going to happen is uh, that it's going to all, well, this is a two basically rotating about uh, uh, rotating about if we were if we're to take one of these sides these two columns in the middle if you're going to take one of these side and keep it static and then start rotating these numbers just change them one notch they will do what the circles do uh, they will become two and seven will become the same number. The same thing with uh, one and eight and the same thing with four and five. But we'll take a look at number eight right now because number eight looks different than it really is in a sense because what it's going to do is it's going to end up, when we hit the 10th sequence, it's going to end up going seven, nine, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The number one, when it hits the 10th sequence, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, zero. Oh. Now that's on the left side and on the right side. Uh, it's always going to remain the same. It's not going to make one of those changes. But here we see for the number eight, at the 10th sequence, it's going to be three, two, zero, oh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. It's going to go like that. With the number one, it's going to be oh zero nine eight seven six five four three two. So as you can see, it's the same number. It's just done one rotation. And as we begin to understand this, uh, we begin to <laughs> well. At one point, you should begin to understand that these numbers they can be treated as, uh, for instance. 
this repeating sequence, 79012345, that's a number two. And we'll look at it. 7, 16, 17, 19, 22, 26, 31, and 6 is a 37. So this number, 79012345, is a 37. It's a 1. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, oh, that's 37, 2, and it will be a 1. And as a 1, and this particular 1, for example, specifically, it's <laughs> it can be treated as one unique number to arrive at these other numbers that we're looking at here today. These numbers are all going to be repeating. That's all they do. If we do the number 3, 333,333,333 333 is 1111111111. One, 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 one. That's eight of them. 1088. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ends with a nine. And that sequence will go on to infinity. And you can see they add up to 36, and this side is 369. And uh, they add up to 396 together, and I think that's pretty evidently the 369 code. With the number 6, same thing. 4 is on one side, 6 is on the other side, in the middle of the 3 and the 5. So no matter how many 6s it is, if it's a million 6s, then just divide it by 9. Well, go 999. Uh, 1,999, and you will see that it'll always go 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, well, no, it won't, it'll go 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 6. Well, what that would be is 666 million 666,666 squared would uh, be that. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. 1, 3, 8, 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5s, followed by a 6. So these 4s will continue to get more and more as we go up, and these 5s will be more and more, but they'll only be 1, 3, and then we'll end it with the, the 6. The 9 follows the same pattern as the 3 and the 6, because the three six nines are the same. Uh, well, they follow the same rules. So 999,999,999 is 9999999988000000001. Or, uh, you know, good. So that's the way that works. And this side is 396, and this is a 9, and that looks like the 369 code to me as well. So basically, we have those left sides of the triangles, and we have the right sides. And I will tell you that uh, those, what we find on the left of 1, we'll find on the left of 8. What we find on the right side of 1, we'll find on the right side of 8. Same thing applies. 2 and 7 will do it like that, and the 4 and 5 will do it like that too. And I'm just simply adding up these numbers, but I can show you certain things that are going to go on. For instance, I showed you that if you square uh, a number, you'll get this sequence, 1497794194419. Well, I didn't really say it, so I'll show it again. But we get that sequence whenever we square a number. And it's right there. 1497794194419. Okay? So, this is just that reappearing in a slightly different way, but it will always, and this is the thing I'm trying to emphasize, it will always appear uh, for whatever reason it does it. But if I add, it starts with one, we'll do it like the Fibonacci kind of thing. Uh, well, 1, and then 1 plus 3 is 4, and then 3 plus 6 is 9, then 6 plus 10 is 7, uh, 6 plus 10 is 16, then 10 plus 15, then 15 plus 21, then 21 plus 28, 
then 28 plus 36, and 36 is the 9, you'll get the 1497.9419. When you're doing it on the right side, you're going to get it too, you're going to get it backwards. 1497.9419. So it's just showing how this thing is always following the codes in its own remarkable ways. But you can do this all yourself and then you'll get an, a, a better grasp of what's going on because this is arithmetic. And what I do is redundant, very redundant. All I'm talking about all day long is the same thing. One plus one is two, one plus two is three. But you can see that if you understand how the system works, you're gonna be able to do much, uh, <laughs> You're going to take arithmetic to a new level. So I'm just showing you what I've done, and that's what I did. That's how I got all those numbers. Okay, I just add them up, just like that. And that's how we get through 9, and that's how I got the numbers. And now that's 6. Okay. You can do this all yourself. But now we're going to take a look at it, what happens when we take that triangle down further. Now, what I will uh, show you here is first you get a triangle, and then from that triangle, you're going to get this trapezoid. And underneath this trapezoid, you're going to get another trapezoid, and it's going to be bigger, and it's going to be another trapezoid, and it's going to be bigger. And it's going to keep on going to infinity, but it will always follow the sequence. So back to the number one again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, with that, we can take any number of ones and we can calculate just using that, knowing that when it gets to the tenth sequence, it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not seven, eight, nine. It will go seven, nine, oh, oh, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And it will, if that were 18 of them, well, if that's 10 of them, it would end with 1. But if, if we want to do 11 of them, 11, 1 squared, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. Oh, then start with 1 again. 1, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So that's how we go from 10 to 11, 11 to 12. But we also can say we can go to 18, 27 of them, 36 of them, 45 of them, because it's going to be the repeating code however many times divided by 9. If it's 36, that's 9 divided by 4. So we're going to need to do 3 of the repeating and 1 ending and uh, 3 of the repeating on the other side with 1 ending. Well, how would we do that? Well, we can look here. Let's say we're doing 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. No, that's the repeating. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is the ending. So it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If that were 27 times, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I would have to do it on the, this side too. So I would go 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 0, then I can finish nine eight seven six five four three two one, and that's how it's done in principle. And you can use that and take uh, it all the way out to infinity. And it's as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Now what we're seeing is this triangle is a three. Well, then this trapezoid on this side has to be a three too. If this triangle appears a three, then half of this trapezoid thing has to be a three two, which it is. And that's basically how this works. And we're just showing that it works uh, just the same for uh, all the numbers, 1 through 9. And you can do this yourself, and you will begin to understand uh, how arithmetic works, and, and you'll become uh, much more proficient at it. So the number 5 does the same thing, and that's I just show it to you that it's been done. So I do it. You can do it. And we can all do it. And why would we do it? Well, that you only will find out. The more you do it, the more you'll find out why you actually do it. So these are those triangles. Now, uh, they come out like this. These, this 120 on one side, 165 on the other side. It's a 3, it's a 3, it adds up to a 6. 
two same two gets to a six like this, nine and six is a six, and then three sixes and nines are all nines. Five is a six, four six well, four is a six, five is a six, seven is a six, and eight is a six. Because it's going six six nine, six six nine, six six nine, which is the three six nine code. Because six 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 that six <laughs> of them uh, is 36, and that's obviously a 9. Now, I could have written these as trapezoids. I probably should have. In hindsight, I would have. But this is just what happens when you get down to the next level, from 10 to 18. It's going to still be 6, 6, 9, 6, 6, 9, 6, 6, 9. Okay, so nothing is changing in the code. The underlying sequence is remaining the same. Just these numbers are getting larger, but they're getting larger by specific amounts in each specific uh, triangle here, and they will always continue to do that. So I show it there. It's 669, 669, 669 to infinity. Okay, now we might just, well, we'll look at this for a second. Okay, so... When we add them all up, we're going to get something that's uh, 3,519. If we add up all those numbers, uh, all of those nine, nine triangles will give us 3,519. And in order to get to the into the trapezoid, how much is inside of the trapezoid? You just add 81 squared. And 81 squared is also 9 to the 4th. It's also 729 to the 9th. It's 6561. So 3519, then add 6561. 729 times 9, add uh, 729 times 9, and keep on going, and that's how it gets to infinity. And we have this little matrix table here to kind of simplify all of the things we've done so far today, literally. This is, this is all it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so 1 is going to go, when it gets to the repeating sequence, on the left-hand side, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 0. Oh. 8 is going to be 7, 9, 0. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see they're the same number. They're just, uh, they're in a different, the numbers are in a different slot, so to speak. Over here, we have zero, well, let's go like this. 32098765432098765432098765454. I hope you see that's the same number. We'll do it with two and uh, seven. Two is 0493827161. Over here, in 7, it's 0, 4, 9, 3, 8, 2, 7, 1, 6. It's the same number. It's just rotating around itself. Like I say, if you keep one of this, this side uh, static, don't move it and start moving these numbers down one slot and down one slot, and that, you'll get the same rotation as you'll get over here. They're the same number. 4 and 5, well, we'll do the back of 2. Uh, 3, 9, 5, 0, 6, 1, 7, 2, 8. 39506172 same number 4 and 5 uh 1975308641 1975308664 58024691358024691 okay so you're beginning to see now that's the repeating sequence that's how it works with the repeating sequence now, the repeating sequence is always going to be a 9 as well. So these, as I showed you, they will evolve into 1 and 8, 9 and 0, 7 and 2, 5 and 4, 3 and 6. They will evolve into that, and that's a 9. So when it goes from the ending sequence to the repeating sequence, what it does is this number goes up by 1 and it goes to the left. So it changes that whole sign on the left. And this number here, 1, 6, this 6 will go down 1, so it'll become a 5. That's a 5. 4 becomes a 3, 25 becomes 24, 49 becomes 48, 64, 63. So it drops 1, subtracts 1, and adds 1, so it remains a 9. Now I'm showing you again just uh, how those... 
the triangle uh, expands into the trapezoid that keeps on getting bigger by adding 81 squared each time. So if you ever wondered how many are in like 100 of them, well, you can do the math. It's not even that simple. You can do it in your head. Okay. So I'm not going to dwell on this point because I do this, and it's probably maybe a bit too boring for maybe some people, but it's actually very important in the grand scheme of things because it's not only the, it's the difference between the numbers as well. You have to add up 280, uh, 108 to 285, and you'll get 393 to get the 405. So uh, this is adding up the first and the second to get the third, the fourth and the fifth to get the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and eighth to get the ninth. And you will see that basically they're, they're, they're going to always be following the same pattern. So that's adding what the difference is between these numbers going to the right. And you can see that as they go up, they're the same numbers. 108, 54, and 18, 12, 48, 33. 108, 54, 18, 12, 48, and 33. So it's following a pattern. And that's basically all I'm saying there. The same thing goes on going uh, up and down as going from side to side. And we're probably not ready for this part yet, so we won't, we won't do this. Okay, so now we're just going to get back to where we were. And we'll just kind of recoup some of these things that we were learning today. Okay, now basically that circle, when we look at a circle uh, in school, they're very often going to show it to us in the form of this. 3, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and 360. Well, that's the same thing I'm doing. It's a 369 code. 369, 369, 369, 369. That's all I've done. I just had it up. I had it divided in nine by nines. Okay, so some of the things that we can see as as we learn more about the 369 code, and this is lesson one, we will see that it appears throughout nature. We know that the Fibonacci sequence, etc., golden ratio, all these things appear in nature. Well, they all come from the 369 code because they're the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But if we look at photosynthesis and cellular rep rep uh, respiration, which are the two fundamental uh, uh, building, well, they're not building blocks of life, it's the way life works, isn't it? Uh, plants create photosynthesis, we respirate, the cells resp respirate, they use it for the photosynthesis. Uh, the oxygen is 18, hydrogen is 12, carbon is 6, same thing in photosynthesis, that's the 369 code, 936. Chemistry is a little bit of a different animal. But you will see it. You will see it. You just have to be looking for it or aware of it. You know, it's the same thing with carbon. It's got an atomic mass of 12. So one mole is 3, 2 is 6, 3 is 9. That continues forever. Oxygen 16. It will go the 248751 code. 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, 128, 144, 7, 5, 1, 8, 24, 248751, 369. 7 and 5 is 3, 1 and 8 is 9, 4 and 2 is 6. It's the 369 code. Fibonacci numbers, same exact thing. If you take the Fibonacci numbers and you separate them by 4 or with 3 in between, we're going to go 157,8,4,2, which is 248,751. And if we start, let's say here, we'll go one, eight, one, no, that can't be, one, eight, one, okay, one, eight, one, eight, one, and this would be eight. And that is the 369 code. As we will see, 
That's how that one works. One eight one eight one eight one eight one eight one eight and two four eight seven five one two four eight seven five one. Okay, that might be just about enough for one day uh, because, let me just see if there's, well, there are a couple of other things. So we can see this. We can see that these numbers, they also are the musical scales because this is how the musical scales work. Nine, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because there are only eight musical scales. But actually, Pythagoras is the one who figured that out. If you're familiar with these triangles, which you probably are not, but they're very uh, sophisticated, uh, you know, number uh, schemes, but they're also going to follow the 369 code, because if I add them up, I go one, two, four. This is right. What it basically is, is to the third. One, no. Uh, one, 11. 11 squared is 121. 11 to the third is 1341, uh, 1331, etc. Anyway, you're going to get the same uh, results. Two, four, eight, seven, five, one. Two, four, eight, seven, five, one. So what it is, is it's 11. 11 squared, 11 to the third, 11 to the fourth, 11 to the fifth, 11 to the sixth. That's what's going on there. And it's following the, the 369 code, obviously. And we see that these ending and repeating sequences, they're going to be following the 369 code. And uh, we're going to get to that. We didn't, we, it's too much for one day to, to, to get, uh, to go much further. I think we may need a break. But what you can see is that when you add up these numbers, they're going to give you the 369 code. And they're going to do it, they're going to always make adjustments, but it's still going to come true. Add up this, it's 36. Add up this, it's 45. 39, 42, that's a 3 and a 6. 40 and 39, that's a 4 and a 3. 38, 39 is a 2 and a 3. 39, 42, 3 and 6. 42, 45, 6, uh, six and 9. Okay, and, but you see, because we didn't make this adjustment here this time, we're just leaving it the way it is, but four and two is a six, and that's just how it did it. The four and two is a six. And obviously the three and the three is a six. So it all works out. It's always making the adjustment and correcting for itself. On the repeating sequences, you're going to get one, eight, Four five seven two seven two four five and one eight. You can see that one and eight are the same. Two and seven are the same because they're the same number. And four and five are the same because they are literally the same number. They're just rotating a little bit differently. And we'll leave it like that, I guess, for today. Maybe not. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Let's just leave it like that because there's so much more to discuss and I don't want to overwhelm anybody with one in one sitting. Anyway, uh, peace and happiness to all good people of the world.